hello guys welcome to wix ideas in this video i'm going to show you how to add a quick view to your wix repeater elements now this element now is displaying a list of christmas gifts and when you click on this for example you say view it's going to open up a light box that shows you the name and also the image of this item now you can do the same thing for other ones and you can see how it changes and shows you the name and also the image of this item that you clicked on now i'm going to show you how to add this very quickly and before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to this video and also leave a like on this video now let's jump over to the editor and from here i'm going to head over to that page which is the shop page for me and then i'm going to go ahead and show you how this looks like from here you can see that i have a data set that is already connected to my repeater here and these items are currently being fed from my database so let's click on manage content to see how our database looks like all right so as you can see from here i have a very few items here i have the title the image and the price there's nothing on the description and all these are weak generated content that we cannot edit all right so i'm just going to display the title the image and the price of this item on my lightbox element so that means we need to create a lightbox element and then we need to use a code to send the data or id of the item here onto our lightbox now before i actually do that i want to let you know how this is going to be done so what i did here is when you click on view it's going to get the id of this item and then it's going to send the id to a lightbox element now that lightbox is also going to have a data set just like this and once it receives the id of the element it's going to use the data set set filter to filter the item for that particular element all right so what we're going to do right now is to go ahead and create our first light box that displays it so head over to the add plus over there and then you're going to go over to interactive now from interactive you're going to see the light boxes so you can always choose the one that you really like so for me i'm going to choose any one because i'm going to design it anyway so let me just choose this one first of all i want to change the overlay background so click on change overlay background there i'm going to change it to a black color and then i'm going to go ahead and click on the settings to reduce the opacity so i can see the background a little bit as the user as it opens up now once you do that you can also go ahead and click on your light box here and what i want to do for this light box is go to design and i'm going to set the opacity all the way to zero and then i'm also going to go over here and delete these items here and i can leave at least just one text element to display the title of the item now as you can see from this one when you click on view you can see that we have this rounded edge here and th that's because i'm using the box element to actually hold those items so what i need to do is go back to the add elements again go over to boxes and from here you can add any box that you want so i'm going to add this box right here so i'm going to change the background of this box to white i'm going to go over to the, the corners here to change it to a 10 percent a 10 pixel corner radius now as you can see it's beginning to look very similar to what we already have here now the next thing to do is to make sure that this box is aligned on all sides inside of your light box area now from here you can drag this text onto that box element and you can also go ahead and edit this text to look your brand so i'm going to change this font to poppins i'm going to reduce the font size to around 20 and then what i can do over here is to just stretch that out so that it covers most of the spaces there and then next thing i want to add is the image as well as you can see the image also has this kind of uh, corner radius and the color of this is red because these are christmas gifts so i think i can just go ahead and change that to this red all right so next thing i want to do over here is to head over to image and from here you can upload any image you want or you can just simply drag and drop any of the images you already have and then once you do that you can just reduce the size and add it onto your box element again and from here you can edit or design this image so you can scroll all the way down until you find this one here this is the one i used over here so i'm just going to keep uh, this design right here and then you can simply duplicate by right clicking on your mouse and then clicking on duplicate so from here we're going to add this to show the price of the item so i'm just going to add this as the price and most importantly i want to change the color so that it stands out and doesn't look the same as the title all right so once you're done with this let's make sure that these items are well aligned so i'm going to just make sure here that 
uh, this item is grouped together so having a little, a little bit of editor issues and once you have this kind of issues what you want to do is to save and refresh your page your editor and try again all right so i'm back here again to try this again to make sure that this is aligned in the center and also these elements are also aligned so what i want to do is to click on this first one and hold on shift and click on the next element and then group them and then from here i can also align them in the middle now this is looking all good the way i want it to be you can also change the design of your close uh, icon close the light box icon so change design i really like this one and i'm also going to change the color to maybe a red or a white so i think a white uh, looks good all right so you can drag this closer to your element so that the user knows that they need to click on that to exit so since we connected also our a repeater to a data set as you can see here on the page we also need to connect this so what i want to do over here is to go over to content manager go to data sets and from here i can link this data set to the christmas gift data set that i had so choose a connect to a, a collection i only have one christmas gifts and it's going to be read only all right so once you're done go ahead and also most importantly go to settings and we need to change the number of items to display to one since we only want to display one item at a time and then we can start to connect our items so this is the image it goes to the image i like adding the alt text and also adding the two tips so if you have a dynamic page you can also go ahead and add this you can add a link to that page so i already have one i can also add a link so when you click on the on this image it goes to the the page of that item and then here we have the title of the item so i'm going to click on the, the title and also we have the price so from here i'm going to go ahead and click on the price now for now we are almost done with this uh most importantly go to the set triggers and we want to set how this uh this um light box opens up so this automatically opens up displays on pages no so this is what you want it to be it needs to be a no and most importantly you want to rename this to what you want to use so uh we're going to use this in the code so what you want to do is you want to write christmas light box all right so we need to remember this i'm going to copy this um i'm going to copy that let me just put that back so i'm going to copy this one in order to use it later on in, in the code and there is nothing else to do here so you can go ahead and decide if you want the users to click on the overlay to close the light box or not if you don't want that um, i think it's fine if they click on it it closes that is quite user friendly so let's head back into our code our page and then let's add a few lines of code that is going to send the id of the selected item to the light box and then displays it all right so to do that let's head over to the dev mode let's enable the dev mode to be able to add code to our site once you do that is going to expand this section and then what we're going to do is that we're going to call an important library which is the wix window so the wix window allows us to work with things like the light boxes all right so what we're going to do here inside of the onready function is to make sure that our repeater is ready so let's click on our repeater and get the id so the id is repeater 9 so i'm going to use the wix selector to call the wix repeater the repeater id i just chose and i want to make sure that the item is ready and inside of this item ready we want to call two things the two parameters we're going to call is firstly we're going to call the selector which is usually the dollar sign w and the next one is the data itself so the data is going to help us get the id of the item and this one is going to help us to get the, the item that was clicked all right so inside of this what we're going to do is if the user clicks on this button element here which i've renamed to trigger button so you can name yours anything if the user clicks on this i'm going to go ahead and write the loss on w and this to call the trigger button dot on click function so when the user clicks on the function then what we want to do is we want to get the data or the id of the item all right and what we want to do is before we actually get the id i want to use the wix window dot open light box all right so as you can see we're going to use this to open a light box and then we're going to send in the id through the light box when it's open 
so inside of this open light box is also going to hold two things so the first thing it's going to hold is going to hold the name of the light box we want to open so i already copied mine which is called the christmas light box and the second thing it wants to hold is the id of the item that was clicked so we're going to use the data here which is what we used earlier to call the id so dot underscore id now how did i get this underscore id i got it from my database so let's go back to the christmas gift database and then let's check this id now this is created by wix so it's always going to be the same this is the id here and when you click on edit you can see the field key is called underscore id so you need to get this field key which is always the same for you know these items now so what it's going to do here is once your repeater is ready and you then you click on that button element it's going to open the light box and it's going to send the id there all right so we're also going to add a few lines of code to the light box so let's head back to the light boxes go to christmas light box here and from here what we're going to do is we're going to receive that id so we're also going to use the same thing the import wix window and we're going to use that to get the context of which the item was called so i'm just going to have a variable that says data or data id in this case since we're receiving the id it's going to be wix window dot lightbox dot get context so the get context is just what the item is the, the id that was received now let's use the console.log in order to see if this works so let's say data id now what i'm going to do now is to close this and go to preview and what i want to do is to click on any of these items to see if we actually receive an id because the id is very important so let's click on this for example when you click on view it's supposed to open up the light box as you can see the light box is open this is not showing the actual item yet but as you can see from here we have an id so this means that it's actually working all right so what we're going to do go back to editor and next we're going to make sure that we uh, add a filter to our data set we're going to use the wix data set set filter to actually filter this item to show that item of the id that was used so let's go back to this i'm going to use the wix selector to call our data set and then we're going to say the set filter and then most importantly we need to also need the import wix data since we're going to be working with the database so let's work get that and we're going to use wix data dot filter and then we're going to say dot equals to two things so equals to we're going to also filter the id on our database so that is it and then we are going to match it with the data id that we got so this is simply all we need to do we just need to get the id and then we need to use the data set cell filter to just match the id that we got plus the id on the database so that it displays the items here so now let's exit this mode and go to preview again and let's choose a random item so i'm just going to choose this one and then let's see if that works so as you can see that actually works so as you can see the name is the same string um string gold light which is the same here and the image as well let's try something else let's try this one the center crystal ball and let's see how this works as well so as you can see once it opens up it filters and gets the image and also gets the name or the title of the item and when you click on this like i did before it's going to bring you to the dynamic page so if you want to also link your dynamic page to through that light box you can feel free to do that and also maybe add two button elements that will allow them to choose a quick view or just go to the page so this is how you add a quick view uh to your wix repeater and also it's kind of how you send data from your page to your repeater uh from your from your page to your light box uh element so i hope this tutorial was very helpful for you please do let me know in the comment section if you have any question at all and thank you very much for this video do not forget to smash that subscribe button and get a feel of these amazing tutorials thank you very much and see you in the next video